There's too many rate cuts. Master Skywalker, what are we going to do? Fed cut rates in September, and another rate cut looks likely for November, and also December. What does that mean for our savings account interest rates? It's going down. So we gotta keep an eye on which banks have the highest rates amidst all the chaos. I've picked four winners and four losers, but which one do I have my money in? We're gonna find out. Let's go. First up on the loser board is Amex, a very, very popular name in the financial game, but when it comes to their high yield savings accounts, they stink. When you look at their website, they have a 4.0 APY, which in the grand scheme of life is not bad when you consider that like the average big bank savings rate is like half a percent or just under. Four seems good. Wrong. Wrong. Talk about Andy, baby. Come on. I'm gonna point you in the right direction. We can do much, much better than four, my friends. Let's take a look. If we see no monthly fees, no minimum deposit, no fee to open, all of which is great. Everything that I'm looking for in a high yield savings account, but the rate just falls short, bruh. I can't do it, Squidward. I know a lot of people like American Express, but it's gonna be a no for me, dog. First up in the winner column is My Banking Direct. They are holding on to that 5% interest rate for dear life. I have a video walking through opening account with these guys. It was fairly painless. It didn't take two days. I had to fill out an application. I guess they like reviewed it or did whatever they did. And then they approved me. And then I was able to put in funds the second day, like the very next day. It was very easy to do. This pleases me. If we scroll down this webpage just a bit, we can see they are FDIC insured, there are no fees, and they do have an app, but it does require $500 to open. Might be a hurdle for some people, but just save up a little bit more, you'll, you'll get there. And these guys are pretty solid account. Going into my account, you see I don't have a lot in here. They're all in my number one account. Stay tuned. But you can see that at the top it says Flagstar. That's normal. They're a subsidiary of Flagstar Bank. And the only thing that says My Banking Direct really on here is this tiny little MBD high yield savings right there when it lists your accounts. From this website, you can transfer money in and out. You can pay your bills on there. They do have Zelle functionality, which is pretty cool. You can do other stuff like buy CDs. <laughs> Got it. And get loans. All in all, pretty solid account. Next up on the loser board is CFG. Now these guys have been gaining popularity and at first glance, I can kind of see why, but when you dig in a little closer, it's like, what, what are you doing guys? You go on their website, you're gonna see a couple of options. We have deposit accounts, banking services, deposit rates. These all seem like seem the same to me. So right now I'm getting a little confused. This is weird. We got their fee schedule, apply and log in. So if we go to like their accounts, money market and savings, like why don't you tell me the rates right here why do you gotta divide it up into a rate page and an account page yeah. and then there's banking services which is basically they have an app and they have a website and you can call them as well okay fine all of this could have been on one website now i know i'm giving them a lot of crap just based on what's on their website but it's like everything is scattered this is a very bad first impression so we see here 5.0 high yield money market account fantastic that's awesome five percent like that's that's very attractive if we click apply for account we see high yield money market account and this tiny little view disclosures let's dig in shall we minimum deposit to open this account is a thousand dollars this gives me the ick i think what like why do i gotta dig into your website like three screens to get this information no Come on, come on folks. Minimum deposit to open is a thousand. You must maintain a minimum balance of a thousand dollars. And if you don't, you're slapped with a $10 service fee, which is monthly. I had to go somewhere else on their website to find out that little piece of information. Why is everything so scattered? Oh! Minimum balance to obtain the posted APY is a thousand and rates change, okay, yeah. But look, this tiny little thing, why so scared? Like, just like, no, no. These guys give me the major ick. Like, ooh, mm-mm. 5% is great. We can find that somewhere else. This is really annoying because I try to find accounts that like everybody can do, no matter how much money you have. Just like, yo, I wanna start saving. Just like, great. You have to start saving somewhere. And when you start, you probably don't have a thousand dollars, but I want you to start. And these guys, these little bait and switch ick tactics that they're putting on, no. 
I'm out. If you made it this far, you dig the vibe. So go ahead and hit subscribe. Next up in the winner column is Everbank. I don't have an account with these guys, but I wonder how did these guys elude me for so long? I am very, very sneaky, sir. Look at this. They have a 5.05% interest rate. Not too shabby, fellas. Look at this, no monthly maintenance fee, no minimum balance required. Interest compounded daily, which is pretty normal. FDIC insured, hello. If you don't see FDIC insured, get out! Run for the hills, get all your money back, find someone else. Zero to open. You could totally open this with no money. Hey guys, uh, I'm gonna open. I'll, I'll give you the money later. Is that okay? But hey, that's cool. These guys look awesome. Don't have a video on them yet, but I probably will make one in the future. Next up on the loser board is Poppy Bank. These guys are slimy. It's disgusting. We look on their website and we go down just like all the stuff that they offer. Okay, personal checking and savings accounts. All right, so here we got personal checking, interest rates, interest rates, some trash, trash, trash. Interest rate checking, money a market, trash accounts, Poppy Personal Savings, 10. Poppy Premier Personal Savings, just under a half. Poppy IRA Savings, not a lot. Why are you saying this stuff? If you scroll down a little bit and you see this Poppy Premier Online Savings, and if you happen to click on it, you'd be brought to this webpage, which is the first one I found when researching these guys. 5%, freaking amazing. Where was that on the other webpage? If you look down at this tiny little text down here, the promotional APY is accurate as of September, only applies when applying online. What, that gives me more questions than answers. What's the promotion? How long does it last and what does it drop down to? This information is not on their website. If I didn't know my mom and aunties would be watching this video, I'd be using much more colorful language. This is disgusting. This is like bait and switch to an insane degree. After doing a little bit of digging on Reddit, after 90 days, it drops down to one half percent. That's what we saw on the website with that 0.48 to 49% interest rate. That was absolute garbage. These guys should be locked up. Stay the hell away from Poppy Bank. Next up on the winner board is New Tech Bank. Standing firm with 5.25% APY. Hello. Fun fact, in junior high and high school, my name was Newt. They called me Newt. Some dude said I looked like Newt Gingrich and it stuck for six years. So, Newt, what do you got for me? We're looking at no minimum balance. We got no monthly fees, no hidden fees. FDIC insured, there it is. Look at her, look at her, she's smiling. She knows what kind of bank she's working for. Look at these dudes from one Newt to another. I love it. I don't have a video opening an account with these guys, but one will most certainly be coming soon. These guys look awesome and you need to consider them. Next up on the loser board is Barclays. Low key irritating these guys. Like they have two different accounts. You go to their website, it says they have a tiered savings and an online savings. Their online savings says 4.2, certainly subpar, especially compared to the ones that we've been looking at so far today. As far as the account itself, no minimum balance to open. Of course you can transfer your money back and forth. No, Maintenance fees, I do like that. You can see FDIC insured is plastered at the top banner of their website. And that's all well and good, but 4.2, I just, I just can't, I just can't. And then they have this tiered savings thing. What, 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 what tiers? You're up to 4.8, which is, which is decent. 4.8 is nothing to sneeze at, but like, look at this. If you have less than $10,000, you know, like normal people, then you get 4.5, which is only a smidgen higher than their other savings account. The difference of which I, I still don't know the difference. And if you want that blessed 4.8 that they're touting, you gotta have 250 grand. Who needs 250 grand in a savings account? Like, don't you put that into, into investments, do some stocks, do some mutual funds, do something. I got no room in my life for these guys. And that's why they're losers. Le who? The her. Okay, it's time, it's time. My top winner is Pi Bank right now. They are rocking a 5.5% interest rate amidst all the turmoil and everyone dropping their rates. Pi Bank is holding strong. The highest rate I have ever seen, especially 
in this economy, 5.5 is freaking amazing, dude. They got no fees, no minimum balance, FDIC insured. Those are my top three. Hello. I made a video opening an account with them. They have no minimum balance to open. La like, how can anyone else compete when there's banks like PyBank out there? Holy crap. I love these guys. This dude's excited. I'm excited. You should be excited too. Opening an account was very easy. I walk you through step by step in the other video. They're a very basic bank. They don't offer hardly like any other services, like no CDs, no loans, no nothing. And you know what? That's what I like about them. Very basic, very simple. One thing to note, they don't have a website to like do your online banking. It's all through an app. Let's check it out. This is the app. You can see I got a little bit of change in there. Very basic. Just like the website says, just like what I alluded to before. There's not a lot here and that's okay. We're rocking five and a half percent people. You can see your previous transactions, send money, deposit money, a little bit of help. You go here, a lot of the same thing, some other support stuff. That's it. That's all you get. And that's all you need. Did I miss anyone? Who do y'all like? Hit me in the comments. Go crush.